Welcome back collectors and today I have one of my most anticipated Micro Galaxy Squadrons uh, models. Today I have the U-Wing from Rogue One and a couple other things, uh, but mainly at first seen in Rogue One. Uh, the photos on Amazon and on Micro Galaxy Squadrons website, I'm sorry, on Jazzware's website, have been awesome. They look super detailed and just the, the weathering effect in all of the panels, the paint lines look amazing. So I am super stoked to get this and we're going to get right into it, open it up, get all these pieces out. And here are the wings. Looks like those will just snap on. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the figures. We've got Andor, Jin Urso, and K2SO. And K2SO is actually the largest Micro Galaxy Squadrons figure we have gotten to date, I believe. Now look at the detail on the body of this U-Wing. The weathering and the detail, like I said, the panel lining looks phenomenal. And here is the first set of landing gear under the ship. And this is one of, like I said, one of the most detailed ships we have got. And nothing actually comes out of this bottom panel. It looks like it, but it is just painted on. Now, on the doors here, these slide kind of like the clone gunship, the LAAT, but not exactly. They're actually on like a metal ball hinge that slides back and forth. And here's an inside look. You can see the mounted rifle in there, but it looks awesome. Same with the other side. They just slide open. And here is the back landing gear on the bottom of the engines. And let's go ahead and take a look at the cockpit here. Uh, there are two seats up front, and as you can see, it goes directly back into the main part of the ship. So you can see the cockpit from either side, which is really nice. It's not closed off there, which is accurate to the ship. And on the bottom, you can also see the bottom of the cockpit is see-through, which is also accurate to the U-Wing, which is pretty unique. And let's go ahead and attach one of the wings here. If you guys look right there, that is where these wings will attach and they will swivel back and forth. And we've got that secured and attached. So it just slides back and forth and it doesn't go all the way back because that's about where the U wings go. And we will attach the other wing here to the same spot on the other side. And there we have it, a fully assembled U-Wing. And it looks awesome. We're gonna close these up here. Now, here's one of the slight issues I had with this uh, copy of the U-Wing. The one side, the left side of my U-Wing does not close all the way. And I'll show you how it's supposed to close here with the other wing. So, there is a tab right there that can go in and it snaps holds the wing in place but on the other one it is not staying however as of an update of this video it does now work i took the wing off and did put it back on and it does work now so just make sure the wing is just all the way on and as you can see opening it is a little iffy sometimes that wing comes off sometimes it doesn't um but that's kind of the only issue with the u-wing and i mean you're not going to be moving them back and forth that much you're just going to display it either with the wings open or not um i really really like this ship from jazzwares and it is probably one of the most detailed ones they've made to date and as of seeing this they did announce the ATTE, which is now the one I'm most excited for. I cannot wait for it. But tell me what you guys think about the Ewing in the comments below. And if you have any questions, go ahead and write them, and I will do my best to answer all of them. And we will see you in the next review.